Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. Seems like we might have turned the corner now on fall getting here. Um, I think it's about 68 degrees today, getting down into 40s at night. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I've been ready for it. So uh, today I, I thought we might talk a little bit about the hydro transmission versus the geared, you know, manual transmission, which was, uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough, as you see here, I've got both, um, both options. The, 98 Massey is a you know a, a manual gear transmission, and then the 2021 Coyote is a hydrostatic. So I thought maybe this video might help somebody if you're a new to tractors and you're first time um, you know shop, shopping for a tractor. Um, you know what option you may want to get with, with your transmission. Um, you know what might serve you best. So we'll talk about both of these and see if we can uh, help determine that. Um, I'll, I'll tell you that when I first um, you know, I grew up on tractors. Gosh, just, I, I can probably, about the time I could walk, I was driving a tractor, seems like. But but anyway, of course, I, you know, grew up on geared tractors. That was, that was all you had back in, in those days. Uh, I was, you know, coming up, driving tractors in the 70s, 80s, 90s. That was, that was pretty much the main thing. Um, you know, now, and now today, I think the hydrostatic on the small utility type tractors anyway is probably the most popular. Uh, but I think it all boils down to what you're using your tractor for. What's your main, um, you know, use that you're going to, uh, you know, task that you're going to be doing. I think if you're doing a lot of heavy pulling and, um, you know, ground engaging equipment, such as, you know, a breaking plow, uh, a, a disc harrow, uh, something that's, that's, you know, going to require a lot of pulling. I think a gear transmission is probably... Your, your better option. I think it has more torque. Um, of course, you know, you want to consider the, the tires too. You know, like on this tractor, it has the ag tires, which get better grip. But a gear transmission definitely has more torque than a hydro if you put them side by side. So, yeah, I think if you're doing a lot of, um, you know, heavy pulling and, and a lot of ground engaging equipment, a gear might be your better option. You know, on the other hand, if your main um, task is, is loader work, uh, I, I think a hydrostatic is going to serve serve you best. Uh, when I went to purchase the tractor, I, I I really wasn't, you know, only thing I knew about hydrostatic was was you know a lawnmower situation. Um, I didn't really, I never had, had driven a tractor that had hydrostatic and didn't you know know how how that you know what it was all about. So um, the dealer encouraged me that uh, you know because I was thinking maybe a shuttle shift you know go in between the gear and the hydrostatic but um the dealer encouraged me that if i was my main use for this tractor if it was loader work i would definitely want a hydrostatic and he was absolutely correct uh it just doesn't get any easier than the hydrostatic as far as you know when you go into a pile of dirt with your bucket and you know you gotta you know regroup and back up a little and go again or, or with the grapple, you got to go in to grab something, you got to back up a little bit, reposition, or even with the pallet forks. Just about any attachment you put on the front of this, the hydrostatic is going to allow you that maneuverability to, you know, quick forward reverse. Whereas with the gear, you know, it's the clutch and changing gears every, every few seconds. Uh, and even with a shuttle shift, you know, it's constantly back and forth with the lever. Um, so the hydro is just super easy. It just doesn't get any better than that. And even the light ground engaging implements on this, such as, a, you know, a tiller, box blade, land plane, the, the, it pulls it fine. I'm just saying if you're getting into something that's really getting down in the ground heavy, then, of course, you know, this is not going to have the torque that the gear tractor is going to have. Of course, you do get that wine with the hydrostatic as most, most of the hydro because, you know, just about everything on this thing op operates off the hydraulics. You know, the loader, the transmission, the steering, um, you know, whereas on this tractor, you got, you know, you got a separate power steering pump and then you got your, you know, your gear for the transmission. So, uh, but, I, you know, I don't know. It's just... Um, I'm definitely a fan of the hydrostatic now. If you're looking at a utility tractor to use around the house and you're going to 
uh, you know, be doing a lot of uh, landscaping chores and brush cleanup and, and things of that nature with the loader. I think you can't go wrong with the hydro. But, you know, go out to the dealer and, and, and let, you know, maybe he's got both on the lot, drive both and, and you know, kind of simulate your situ yourself in a situation where you would be doing work, you know, in, in a brush pile or a dirt pile or whatever and, and see, you know, what fits you best because uh, cause as I say, I was definitely... Uh, going with the mindset of a geared or shuttle shift, but so glad I went with the uh, hydrostatic. Is just you know, and then if you got you know somebody else that's not so familiar with tractors, and you know like the wife, she she had never driven a tractor before. Um, you know we got this one, and she can get on that thing and drive it, piece of cake. But you know on this, it's it's a lot more complicated with the clutch and the gears, and you know worried about you know uh, popping the clutch and cutting off and that kind of stuff. So I uh, knowing what gear to be in, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, like I said, it's, it's, uh, you know, the hydro, I'm definitely a fan of. And another thing, I think if you, if you got a lot of stuff that you're doing on hills, you know, climbing up hills and stuff like that, pulling stuff up hills there again, the, the gear is going to give you more torque and probably be able to maneuver the hilly terrain, uh, better than a hydro. But uh, anyway, just a short little video thought, you know, to talk about that. That Hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, but go out and try it. You know, get on one at the dealer and he'll let you drive it around and see what you think. But uh, um, it just doesn't get much easier than the hydrostatic. Of course, here on the Coyote, you have the, uh, you know, which I think what most of the hydrostatic tractors have. Um, not all, but most. The individual forward reverse pedals. So, you know, you just... You know, select your range over here with your with your gear lever. Uh, you know, uh, low, medium, or high, and then you just hit the pedal, forward, reverse. It's you know, it it's just doesn't get any uh, simpler than that. Uh, of course, you know you're going to be doing most of your loader work in low. Uh, maybe sometimes medium, just depends on what you're doing. If you're picking up hay bales or you know moving some brush, and you're not you know requiring a lot of pushing or pulling, medium works. And then of course high, you know more of like transportation mode or whatever on the highway or hard surfaces or whatever but um, but yeah and it's almost um, see the brake pedal there but it's almost self braking when you let off of the hydrostatic pedals um, it'll almost you know the hydro hydrostatic transmission will pretty much stop you unless you're on a steep incline or whatever but uh, so there again it's almost self braking um, you know some of the other tractors I know the Kubota has the single pedal the treadle pedal I think they call it um, you know, if, if you're shopping and, and you, you don't know if you're going to like that or not, I just, you know, I just suggest driving both and see, you know, some people don't like the treadle pedal, some people love it. So it's just a matter of preference and, what, you know, what you get used to. And, and, and uh, so I say just, you know, drive both and see what works best for you. Um, you know, looking over here at the manual transmission, you got your traditional clutch there that you got to you know depress to change gears and then you got your range selector the smaller gear there that's uh low and high and then you got four forward speeds so that would be four in low and four in high for a total of eight and then your two reverses uh you know reverse in low and reverse in high but uh unlike the hydrostatic you know if you're um you know on an incline or something and you hit the clutch here you know it's gonna it's not gonna all stop by itself you're gonna have to use the brake where um you know a slight incline uh, or, or level ground over there it's going to pretty much stop immediately but anyway i uh, just thought that video may help somebody out that's uh, trying to decide you know maybe you're trying to, to buy a new tractor used tractor or whatever and and you know that can be a big difference depending on what you're using it for as to what transmission you would go with uh, anyway hope that helps you out please hit the like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time thanks